Good everybody. This is about using your shower to also have hot water in your sink. Now your standard Philippine shower is pretty basic. These valves I've been seeing everywhere. This one turns on the shower water. This is just a valve for the filling buckets or whatever. Water goes in, water comes out, you turn the valve on, it runs, you turn the valve for heat. Pretty self-explanatory. But over here, all we get is cold water. So it is plumbed in through the incoming cold water. Now, it would be nice if they had plumbed it to the hot water. So I went ahead and did that. So hold on for a moment. I will head up to the upstairs. Which I can't even pause this. This is rather annoying. I don't like this uh, microphone. It does work well. But I've never tried to pause or turn on the, the uh, light. And it's not letting me. I have to figure that out. But let's head on up in my grungy apartment. I don't have much furniture. We're working with folding furniture and build that LBC boxes everywhere to store stuff. Power inverters and things sitting on the stairs. Very little furniture, although we are preparing for the baby. Now, up here in the second CR, I just went ahead and did this. I disconnected the incoming line from there, plumbed it to here, by way of a T valve coming out of the hot water. Now, I basically just leave this valve here turned on. As long as you don't have a leak, you're no problem. And then you just turn this, and you get hot water. Well, and you adjust this. And then, oh, I want the underwear. <laughs> Always leaving that. These showers at first with their underwear on, and then takes it off. I don't know why she doesn't take it off ahead of time. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Basically, you want hot water now. This is coming straight from the hot water heater. So wherever you leave the hot water heater set, you get hot water. And what I found, if you want good hot water for shaving, you don't run this full bore. You run a little bit lower like that. You go full bore, and it uh, doesn't get as hot. Same with the shower head. But there you have it, folks. Hot water in the sink in the Philippines. Very easy. And I can take all this stuff with me. I kept the original hose for down here. I'll reconnect it when I leave. And just take my T-valve out, put that back on, back to the standard system. And this is a pretty standardized, I'm noticing this fitting here is pretty much across the board the same when I've looked at stuff for our sale. And a normal pipe fitting thread will fit on it, although this is the worst pipe built or pipe Teflon tape I've ever used. It literally takes tons of it to make a seal. Oh, here's another good tip. You can get disposable razor blades here. You can get shaving cream here. But these blades for these, your old school safety razor, are quite plentiful and a lot cheaper than trying to buy the disposables. As far as shaving cream goes, all you get is these little teeny weeny bottles about that big around and about four inches tall. So what I did there is I ordered shaving soap, actually in a cup, but the bugs were getting in it, so we stuck it in here. And an old school shaving brush off Amazon. Came as a set with a little bowl and this nice little stand that there's nowhere in the bathroom to put stuff, you're gonna run into that. No shelves, I had to buy my own mirror. And there's no shelves, no medicine cabinet, nothing in there, and they expect you to buy and replace everything unless you get a furnished apartment, and then more likely you would still would not get a medicine cabinet, like you would in the United States. But I'm gonna put some shelving in here. They seem to have no qualms about drilling holes in the wall through this tile. And they did, as you can see, they didn't even grout the damn stuff. That's the way to do things here. Slap it up there. Get her done. Don't matter if it ain't right. <laughs> it's done. 
Well, that's it, folks. Have a good day.